I had my full hip disarticulation in 1974. I had bone cancer in my leg and that was a standard treatment at the time. I was five years old at the time I had my amputation. I really grew up with it. I started out at that time, was immediately put in a prosthesis and I feel very lucky that I was because I grew up wearing one. I had to make adjustments to it. Weirdest thing for me was going up and down hills because we had a hill in our backyard. And I would stand at the top of this hill and couldn't figure out how to walk down it. One of the most important things for me as a child was how my parents responded to my being an amputee. And I think a parent's first reaction is to try to protect you from from hurting yourself or protect you from things you might hear or just something as simple as falling. But you have to kind of let kids figure it out on their own. And I am so thankful that my parents let me set my own boundaries. I think one of the times I was most nervous about it was going to college, you know, because I lived at home up to that point. I'm going to college. I'm about to live in a dorm with other guys. And it's the first time that you know, most people, except my closest friends, wouldn't see me without my prosthesis. I, I had a roommate who I walked in the first day wearing a prosthesis, carrying a spare because at college I was afraid if something happened to one, I needed a spare. And um, my roommate was like, oh, yeah, what's that? Oh, that's my uh, backup artificial leg. And he was like, okay, so where do we want to put our books? I mean, it didn't phase him at all. and. You know, that was it. Over the period of time, it's been tremendous to see how much um, the prosthesis has changed. I mean, for the first half of that time, or more than half the time, there's really no change in the way they made the prosthesis. They were wood, they were very heavy. I used to feel like a prosthesis, as much as it helped me, still at the end of the day, it was 10, 15 pounds of weight I was carrying around for the day. Just over the second half of that time, the, the advance has been tremendous. There's much more response in the newer materials that, whereas the older materials, you had to put all the energy into making the prosthesis work for you. I feel a difference in the way the materials respond. Particularly with the prosthesis that I have now is the first one where the newer materials have allowed some rotational flexibility. So for playing golf, that's been tremendous for me to actually be able to feel some rotation, add so much stability to what I feel when I play. I feel like I have a lot more control, a lot more stability, and it makes me a better golfer. I think the biggest thing for me is that being an amputee does not define who or what you are. You're just a person who happens to be an amputee. You're still gonna do the same things that you wanna do and my amputation doesn't set my limits, I set my limits. I decide what I want to do and what I don't want to do. I think anything with you know, very few exceptions, there's nothing that you'll be prevented from doing. You may not do it the same as everybody else does it, but if you want to do something, you'll find a way to do it.